Hello everybody, beautiful day. Uh, the weather has broke a little bit here in Florida. It's not too hot, like it's, it's still warm, but it's not miserable, it's not super humid. Uh, it feels all right, it's probably only like 90, so that's nice. <laughs> anyway, so what we're doing today is we got a lot of work to do on the Miata. Between today and tomorrow, which will be all this video, uh, we have like Corvette intake, coolant expansion tank, fuel line heat shielding, um, and some other stuff if stuff shows up in time. I also got some legit JDM three-piece wheels from Steve. His boss had them for sale for a really good price, so I bought those. Uh, if you guys saw the exhaust video, you know that I bought them, but I didn't show you what they were. So, uh, really excited to test fit those. They're like right over there. I'm just intentionally not pointing the camera that way. We'll be shipping it off to paint because we gotta get the vet in here. Gotta pull the trans out, swap the trans in it, or get it rebuilt. I still haven't figured out which one yet trying to find a good like super low mileage trans, but it's hard. We gotta do angle on that. So we got a few things to do because the giveaway ends in two weeks. So if you haven't entered yet, every $5 gets you an entry. Uh, we have like tons of cool drift vet merch, but we've also got like cool normal stuff like the garage belt, seat time over mods, tur no turbo, no problems, like all those stuff. Again, it's a huge help in supporting the channel. We're getting pretty close to our initial goal of kind of covering the cost of everything in the car. So that's super exciting. I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who has entered so far and supported the channel like you guys are awesome and it it means so much to me i wish it's like everyone says that you know and it's hard to really show you guys how genuinely appreciative i am without just saying it sounding like everyone else who sounds appreciative I, I don't know if that makes any sense but just thank you thank you to everyone who's entered and who is going to enter but if you are planning on entering you need to hurry up so anyway that is the plan so first thing we got to do is run to the mailbox Oh, my pit bike is still in my truck. I haven't even unloaded from the drift event. So, I guess we're gonna take the old XR100. This might not be possible with the clutch. We've got our O2 sensors for the exhaust. Um, right now it's got three O2 bungs with no O2 sensors. So we're gonna throw these two in, which are our normal bank one, bank two for the stock ECU. And then we have the wide band one as well. All right, well, it took a little longer than expected because, well, I'll show you in a second, but here is the ECU O2 sensor bank one, bank two, then we've got our Y band for our AM gauge right there. Uh, so basically, there is no good place on this side to zip tie or mount the pigtail. So I drilled a hole from the inside and it has this little, like, one of those Christmas tree looking plastic prongs built into the plug and just popped it in. So now it's nice and secured and the same thing on this side you can't really see it anyway it's up there a really nice way to mount them works out well the only thing i've got to figure out is how to mount where to mount this remote bleeder line and how but for now i'm going to put the interior back together and we're going to start it up and see what it sounds like it's, i have not heard it without three giant exhaust leaks which would be not having the o2 sensor so uh we're going to do that now i'm excited <laughs> body seems to be sucking in air from like around the blade because it's like old and the blades dinged up and stuff throttle plate not blade so I have a new throttle body on the way if it's still having the issue with a new throttle body then we'll kind of assess that issue see if it's a you know tune needs to be adjusted or something along those lines um, but man it sounds good it's loud I wasn't sure you know because of the manifolds I figured that would muffle the sound a lot, but it's it's loud. Do get annoyed with how loud it is. I've never really had a loud, loud drift car besides the Z, which doesn't count because it's a BQ. Doesn't count. <laughs> if I get sick of it, I can you know throw a muffler in. Like it would be two V bands and a muffler away, so it's easy. Uh, okay. All right, moving on. Uh, we'll move on to the uh, getting the intake done. All right. So basically, what we got to do is uh, there's like this resonator box. I don't know what its purpose is. Uh, but we're just going to cut it off, um, prepare to cap it. We'll probably just plastic weld a cap on, tap like something relatively thick. Maybe we'll use, cut it out of this material. Um, but that way we can 
tap it for our intake air temp sensor, uh, which we also have this MAF full we will need to cap. What we need to do though first is just get it fitted. So we'll go ahead and cut this box off and then start fitting it. Once it fits good, then we can worry about plugging the holes. But it was cheap. Old lady on uh, Facebook Marketplace, Steve picked it up because it was local, uh, but it was like 25 bucks. And on eBay, they were like 300 bucks. So that worked out. And it says Corvette on it. Still have a piece of the vet in our lives. Brothers. <laughs> don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Got a little carried away with uh, cutting out the plugs, but got this one fitting nice. We'll have to plastic weld that guy in, but it's like holding in on its own. I'm gonna take it out just so I don't lose it. Lose it because I took it out. All right there. Uh, we got the round plug. So now we're gonna actually try to put this on. Definitely gonna have to take the bumper off. We'll do that real quick. I'm probably gonna have to cut the hood out more, but I really need to take it off and finish doing any everything and clean it because I'm getting metal shavings everywhere so it looks like we need to chop the lip out of this uh factory crash bar but it's close already we just got to get it basically to where this is flush with the core support so that the hood can actually close otherwise we ain't closing shit <laughs> all right so uh it looks like what we're gonna have to cut is basically this triangle like we thought so if I follow this line up, up, all that over, up. Uh, and then once we get it to fit, before we actually bolt it on, we'll actually clean it. But bring it down, I'll show you how far it is from fitting right now. It's just a little bit, I can live with that gap. Ben's right, we'll just wait, raise the quick latch strikers up. Yeah, Great idea, it'll excellent. Be it'll be totally fine. That won't, it'll actually funnel air into the uh, engine bay. It'll cool your engine bay down. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, so we cut this. Um, basically, this is the only way to get this to go down far enough. Otherwise, sitting on the edge of it, which would be like here, it raises it up up here, which is where it's hitting the hood. So now it's down, we'll weld plates here, and then weld the bar across. I just need to get the material to weld the bar, but for now, I'm gonna see if the hood still fits. But first, I'm gonna wash it off, because I keep getting metal shavings all over everything. takes in hood and bumper fit ish <laughs> um definitely gotta weld plates on and weld that support but i don't have the stuff to do that tonight so we're not doing that tonight ben's over here replacing throttle cables like professional bike mechanic professional he's been working on this for about four hours <laughs> another day more wrenching on the miata we've got plastic weld to weld our plugs onto the intake so we can get that done we're gonna have to drill this out because i got my intake air temp sensor which we'll just drill a hole and thread it in there okay moving on uh, i got hose for catch can so we can install that pcv we gotta do a part store run today uh i got heater hose this is the only color they had i don't know if i'm gonna like the way it looks or not but i've got a expansion tank on its way it's supposed to be here today i don't know when it's gonna get here but we'll have that for the expansion tank biggest thing we have throttle body it's crazy i ordered this like over the weekend and it's monday and it's here but we got this war throttle body uh it's cheap it's like 140 bucks for the polished one i opted for the black one which is like 147 or something um it has a stiffer spring which is nice caused issues i think i chipped the edge and it wasn't shutting all the way and all that stuff so we're gonna put this on hopefully this solves our intermittent idle issue let's do that first because i just want to know it's like one of those things i want to know if it's fixed is it fixed or not? Okay, we're doing it. It's been a while since we've done the old snap trick. All right. Well, it's pretty sick, honestly, having the black one. I got to adjust the throttle cable. It's a little loose now. Um, but it doesn't hit the water pump like the previous one did. I adjusted the idle up, but I could adjust it down to where it's like barely running at all. Um, and it runs way better. Check this out. I 
coming up here. It actually comes back down to idle now. that uh, throttle body so definitely gonna say that that was our issue this might hit the hood I need to check that real quick but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the intake out and then we can start plastic welding these pieces on and get the intake air temp sensor in so we can finalize this in all right while that is drying we're gonna move on to putting the catch can in I got to figure out where I'm gonna mount it I wish I had the expansion tank here because I need to know where I'm gonna mount the expansion tank so I know where I can mount the catch can but We'll figure it out as we go. All right, so I figured out catch can placement. Uh, I was originally trying to just go from 3 8 and squeeze it onto these half inch bars, but it's just not happening. Not with this hose, which is like the fuel injection hose. Uh, but basically it routes from the PCV over to a T into the catch can and then over to the other valve cover, which I would just like flip the barb around. You can see it better. I move the coil packs. So it goes brent, 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 over to here. Uh, it kind of worked out that I need to change the fittings because this is a much nicer way to do it, having the AN90 with push lock. So basically I'll just get another one of these fittings that threads into here, and then another dash 690 push lock, and then it'll go basically out here, 90, will loop through, go behind the coil packs here as well, and then over to the intake. And that'll be like the Queen of Scotch can setup I've ever had. Uh, I left the hose short here so I can take this off to clean it out more easily. It's, all this time. it's Sandy's first time out in the shop. Look at you. I'm so proud. She's like, there's so much to explore, leave me alone. I have to see all the things. Oh, I used this stepper bit and I just kept going a little bigger, a little bigger till I could get it to kind of start to thread itself. Um, and I just impacted it in and it basically drew its own threads through. Uh, so we're good, it's solid. Half cap's good, so the intake is done. I need to order an aftermarket filter element for it. Apparently these really choke the car, but other than that, intake's done. Okay, so now what we need to do is roll the fenders because these are like factory fresh, never rolled. So we need to roll these before paint so we're not dealing with rolling them after paint. Uh, and then bleed the brakes, and that's pretty much it for the night. Oh, before bleeding the brakes, I need to throw power stop brake stuff in the rear. That way we can bleed the brakes. Brakes are all done. All right, so we're gonna run the track pads on the brake setup, like the actual physical car brakes. And then we're gonna start with the like sport pads. Um, so these are kind of like a mix for the e-brake because I think they'll be able to grab quicker because they won't have such a, a warm up time because track pads, you know, you generally need to like get them up to temp a little bit and then they start working really well. So I think these will have, look at this. These power stop brakes are so nice. They come with new rubbers for the sliders that I'm sure Ben's gonna be too lazy to put on, but I can't explain because he's helping me. Come with new clips, come with brake lube, and come with obviously the pads. That's like a full kit. Nope. <laughs> Some more struggles. Ben's having a lot of fun. He said he loves helping me so much. He's gonna sell his car, so he never has to work on it, and he only has to help me with my car because he loves working on my car so much. One like equals one prayer for Ben to get this brake pad in. Like the video if you want Ben to get this brake pad in. Look at this list. Pachow. Pachow. Technically, pachow. And pachow. I mean, that's, we still gotta put it back on, but the list is technically done. Ben hates me. <laughs> he hates my car. Uh, so, Ben got all the dual caliper stuff on. We got the new power stop brakes, like I said, track day. Like sure track pad, whereas this is more of like a street track pad. Uh, it looks all nice and fancy. Look at that. Huge shout out to Power Stop Brakes for sending all that brake stuff over. Vaughn and Chelsea had a lot of good luck with their stuff, so I really wanted to try it out. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Got the front fenders rolled. Glad we got that done before paint. I realized that my catch cam mounting is kind of crappy because I need to put a fuel pressure gauge on here because I have no idea what the fuel pressure is. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna move this, this, 
neither. I, I don't know. If I can just figure out the fuel pressure and set it, I won't really need to adjust it. So who knows, as Ben would say. Uh, okay. Uh, so tomorrow we gotta do like fuel line, heat shielding, coolant expansion tank, uh, and just like a bunch of other little stuff uh, we'll be finishing up. I'm also gonna test fit the wheels. I was gonna do it tonight, but it's already almost 11 and we're both tired. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Uh, plus it gives you guys an excuse to come back and watch another video. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Say bye then. Bye.